Let's have a brief look at what a home network typically looks like. Now, there can be many variations of this, so don't take this as gospel, the only way that it can look. But typically, here's the Internet, and the ISP, or Internet Service Provider, goes from the backbone of the Internet to your home, where the first thing it meets is a modem. Now, the modem translates that signal between the ISP and your home network. And then it goes from the modem to a wireless router, most typically. Now, this could be a hardwired router. They used to be hardwired routers, but now they tend to be wireless routers. And um, today, it's very common for these two devices to be combined into one device. So you may only have one device in your home that perform both of these functions. From there, we can go out to various things, your TV, your smartphone, your laptop. You may even have a wired PC out here somewhere, and it's not on this picture, that would plug into the back of this wireless router. Usually these wireless routers have various ports on them that you can use for plugging in Ethernet. And we'll talk about what Ethernet means later in the course, but you can actually plug into this thing as well. Now, in some cases, let's say that you have a remote spot, say, out in your garage. You might even run a Ethernet cable out there and have a switch. And then off of that switch, you could have various uh, cables. That would be the case in my, uh, in, in my home. Some routers or uh, some setups look like this. Sometimes this wireless router here, now I'm assuming that modem is part of this, uh, is... Uh, actually has two networks on it, a guest network and a home network. Uh, for example, if you are on Xfinity, you probably have an Xfinity network out here for guests and then another home network here. And the two don't communicate, so there's no uh, way for people out on this guest network to access anything here on your home network. So these are typical home uh, networks and what they typically look like.